Hello everyone, today we are changing the fuel filter for a Toyota Camry 50, here is such a filter, it is original, the filter is quite expensive due to the fact that it goes with the body, that is, both the filter and the body are here at the same time, we will change now. To begin with, you need to remove the seat to do this, you need to rest on the seat and pull it up. Everything is carefully removed, there are two connectors on the sides that need to be disconnected, I press the latch and remove the same thing from the other side. Carefully remove the seat. Next, you need to remove this plug, such a plug with wiring and gently pry this lid. It is glued, so you can first warm it with something. For example a hairdryer and then carefully remove it. It is better to wear special gloves, because there is a very sharp edge and you can cut yourself on it. I have removed all the lid. Now we need to carefully remove the chip, which often happens here, you can break this retainer and then this connector will not be fixed, of course some do so it even holds, but this is wrong. I usually use such a tool to remove this chip. I took everything off, that is, I usually work very carefully with these connectors, because here the lock is easily broken, I have already talked about this, so I try to pry this lock myself from below to pull and help with pliers, you need to be very careful not to break it. Now we need to remove this hose here, for this there is such a retainer. It needs to be pushed aside, and you also need to be very careful with it, because if you push it to the side, it breaks out of there, jumps out and flies somewhere in there behind the tank, then you have to look for it, so you need to work carefully with it. We hold it with our fingers and take it out, so I took it out like this, I put it aside so that it doesn't get lost. Then I gently brush off the dirt with a brush, it can also be blown away with air. But I usually don't do that. Because all this dust flies around and everything will be in this dust, so it's easier to process it neatly like this. Now take a rag and carefully pull out this hose so that fuel does not splash out. But fuel does not splash out. Also, look at the fuel is gone so that it does not come out further in the process of when you unscrew, you need to unscrew the fuel tank and release the pressure. All the pressure is gone, you can immediately tighten and that's it.
Now we take the head to weight and unscrew all the bolts in a circle. We remove the hose to the side. Remove the lid. And now we need to quickly remove the entire filter housing itself along with the filter so as not to fill everything with fuel here. Carefully take out since there will still be a fuel level sensor and quickly take it out. Everything is fine, now we will carefully change the filter, here we have a new filter, here we have an old filter, we will put the new one aside for now. To begin with, remove the fuel level sensor connector. Then there is such a latch. We lift it and remove the fuel level sensor. Put it aside, now we can disconnect the fuel pump connector itself. Now we need to remove this stopper here. And we also need to be careful with it because it flies away in an unknown direction. I took it off. Put it aside. Everything is supposed to be sprawling now. To do this, we will also need to squeeze these mustaches. Everything is clean, so now we need to disconnect this crude fuel filter. It was we who disconnected the clamps, now we are pulling out the pump. So it is necessary to disconnect the connector from the pump. All the pump has been pulled out. They disconnected our pump here, we always need to pay attention to what gaskets were there. It often happens that there is an elastic band left inside, they forget to put it here later, they assemble the pump and the machine does not work, so I get the elastic band with such a tool. Here is such a gasket. We look at it so that it is whole and put it on the pump immediately so that it does not get lost. In general, when disassembling the pump, you need to look carefully so that the rubber bands do not remain somewhere inside the recess. Now we will remove the pressure regulator. That's it, our pressure regulator is clean, everything is fine. So, what do we have left? We still have a spring left. 
Here is a gasket that will also fit the new filter. And here is this retainer, we will also remove it now. That's all, here is the old filter, now we take a new one and assemble everything anew. Now I'll take this coarse filter and blow it with air. Now we assemble everything in reverse order, lubricate all the rubber bands that we will put. We put our regulator first. We need to look so that the gum does not bite, so if it does not go, I usually take it out again and insert it. Maybe we still need to lubricate a little. Everything went in, now I take the pump, which I also lubricated beforehand. The pump is also. Now we put the mesh in place. Everything is in place, everything is beautiful. We put the ceiling rubber in place. Now I'm going to blow off a little more air. We'll take this thing off for now. Everything is now possible to put this thing here, so it will be more convenient. We snap the stopper. Now we put the wiring here. So now we put the sensor back. The sensor is placed in this groove, we snap it down. We have changed all the filter itself, we look to make it stand exactly, it happens that this sensor becomes in several positions, so we need to remember in which specific position it stood. Everything is in place. Now we put it back. Now we put the filter back. First we gently press it down with our hands so that it clearly falls into place so that everything is in one position here. 
Now we take the metal bracket. Put it back and fix it. Now we bait the bolts. All bolts are baited, now you can clamp them. We put this hose in place and put on the retainer. Now we take the lid, insert the connector, snap it and now you can start the car, check how it works. The first time the car will start a little long, so do not be afraid. And no, it hasn't even stalled. Now you can assemble it to the end already. Everything, the lid is standing, the elastic band is standing. Now we put the seat, snap it. Connect the connectors and, in principle, we'll carefully snap the seat. Connect the connectors. Now we are directing the seatbelts so that they come out here and put everything in place. put everything in place. That's it, the fuel filter is changed. You can ride.